Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to model this entire plumbing system as fast as I can. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. So let's start things off by opening a new project. We'll browse to the plumbing default, hit OK. And I just inserted a linked Revit file. So now we need to get our plumbing fixtures into this model. So I opened up my MEP Guy plumbing fixtures template warehouse, and you can get these fixtures at MEPGuy.com. I'm just going to copy them to the clipboard and we're gonna paste them in. We'll click, and once they're in, we can delete them. And now we're gonna start placing our plumbing fixtures. So I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut, start typing in water. We got this flush valve wall mount, and let's just put our fixture right on top of the architect's fixtures, just like this. Then in the command, let's type in urinal. We'll select our urinal, there we go. And for the last fixture, we're gonna start typing lavatory, and we have a wall mount ADA press the space bar to rotate my fixture around. That looks great. And we're essentially done with the fixtures. Let's go ahead and place a water heater right here. So we'll go up to systems, plumbing equipment, and we'll just put our water heater right here. That looks great. So now we've essentially finished placing our fixtures. So let's start drawing some piping. We'll go up to the pipe command. We'll start drawing piping at nine feet. Let's go from about right here, click a point here. And we're gonna drop down in our wall right here to two feet. So I'm gonna type in two. And then we're just gonna draw it right here. And then I can use my connect into command right here. We can use the correct connector right there and we'll connect into that guy. Let's open this up this in a 3D view so you guys can see this. So I'm gonna select my pipe, hold shift, and we're gonna orbit around. I'm just gonna use my connect into command right here. Select this first connector, click the pipe. And we can do that for the water closets as well. So we'll select them, connect into, click OK, click our pipe, do the same thing here, connect into this first connector, click our pipe, show you guys the old fashioned way. So if I also want to do it like that, I can just start drawing piping right here and click and I'm done. All right, now I'm gonna continue off in this direction. I'm gonna hit my plus, I'm gonna right click, draw a pipe, and we're gonna draw it into this water heater right here. I'm gonna update this pipe size to three quarter inch, just like that. And we'll continue drawing our cold water pipe. So I'm gonna use the create similar command. We'll go from a point right here and we're just gonna go over and we're gonna drop down in the wall right here. And I'm gonna drop it down to one foot. We'll go off to this side right here. We're gonna line up with the connector right there and it's gonna snap and we'll hit escape. And we'll use our connect into command by selecting the fixture using connect into, selecting the first connector right here, clicking our pipe, we'll do it again. We're gonna select our connect into, select this first connector and click our pipe. Let's go to a 3D view so you guys can see this. So we'll select our fixture connect into, select the first connector right here, select our pipe, and that looks great. Now let's go ahead and do the hot water. So I'm gonna go back to my floor plan and we're just gonna start drawing some hot water piping from here. Let's bring it up to nine feet. We'll go here and we'll do the same thing. We'll drop it in the wall to a point right there. Let's go one foot and we'll bring it all the way across here and we'll go to a point about right there. We'll use our connect into commands again. This time we wanna select the hot water connector. Let's go to our 3D view. And that, that time it didn't look great, so let's redo that. Let's hit delete. We'll go back to our floor plan and we'll trim this up. I'm gonna go ahead and make this piping half inch. That looks good. And let's do our connect into commands again. Select our hot water connector, select our piece of pipe, select the fixture, select the connect into, select our hot water connector, select the piece of pipe. And we're done with that, so that looks great. Now we have to do the sanitary and vent system. So let's go back to our floor plan and let's start with our water closets over here. Let's zoom into the water closet. We'll select it and we'll start drawing some sanitary piping by clicking this little connector right here. And we're gonna exaggerate it. We're gonna draw it all the way back here. We need to make sure we're drawing with the correct piece of pipe type. So sanitary PVC, right click, draw pipe. And then we'll go off to this direction and we're gonna go down in the wall about here and we'll go to negative two and that's gonna be below the floor. We'll go off this way, just like that. And now we can use our connect into commands again. So I'll use the sanitary, just like that, hit okay. Let's go back to our 3D view, take a look at this, make sure we're doing everything correctly. So we can select this fixture right here, select connect into, make sure we select the right sanitary connector, click our main. As you can see, those get updated. Let's go ahead and continue our piping off. We're gonna hit plus. And then we're gonna keep drawing pipe, right click, draw pipe. It's gonna hold shift. And when I get to the right spot, you can see Revit will highlight my fixture. That looks good. Now we can 
reduce the size of this to two inches. And again, we're gonna use our connect into command. We'll click it and we'll use this sanitary connector coming out of the bottom here. And we can adjust the height of this later. So I'm gonna click and click and we'll do the same thing. Connect into, use this sanitary connector. We'll click and that looks great. Now, if we had an intersection between our water piping and we needed to bring the sanitary piping down, we can do that since they're custom fixtures. So I'm gonna to go to edit type and you can see I have a parameter value called sanitary outlet height. So if we need to move this down to maybe one foot two, we can click okay. You can see that moves the sanitary piping down. So they're very customizable to whatever you need to do. All right, so let's continue on. Let's go ahead and change these elbows to T's with the plus here. Now we're gonna connect our vents from here. And then let's go ahead and update these little combo fittings. And obviously we need some carriers. So let's go ahead and select the flow to the right carrier. And there we go, that looks great. Let's go back to our floor plan and let's draw some vent piping. And so we can actually move all of these pieces of pipe a little closer to the wall here. Maybe something like that, that looks great. And let's just move our sanitary a little further back so we can see it nice and clear. That looks really good. And let's go ahead and go to a 3D view and I'm gonna show you a cool technique that I use for my vent piping. So the vent piping actually originates from the fixture itself. So you can see there's this little vent or this little sanitary guy right here. We're gonna make sure we're using the vent PVC. I'm gonna draw it up to five feet and we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna draw it off this way, just like that. And then I can use the connect into command again to connect that vent connector right here to my main right here. And then we can make sure we drag this out a little bit more and also connect R. And we don't actually select the carrier. We're gonna select the fixture because the vent comes from the fixture. We're gonna use connect into, select the vent connector and click our main. And there we go, we have that. But let me show you guys the magic. So we're in a floor plan here. Let me make sure I put this on the correct system. So if I click and then I change this to my vent sanitary, which is a custom sanitary system, you can see that I have my vent piping show up correctly. And then if I click on my pipe, you can see I'm actually tracking the fixture units inside my vent piping. So let's make sure this vent piping is in the right location because if you look at it now, it's off to the side and we want that exactly centered on our carrier fitting. So I'm gonna go to my floor plan and what we need to do is we need to dimension this carrier exactly to this piece of pipe right here. So what we can do, I'm gonna show exaggerate this a little bit so I can show you guys. What we need to do is we need to measure this distance right here. So I'm gonna align it. So we'll align, so we'll hit tab. We'll align it from here to here and click. And we actually wanna update this. So to anything we want, maybe we're gonna use one foot seven right there. So now we know it's exactly one foot seven. And now what I do is I actually select my fixtures and you can see I have a instance parameter right here. I'm gonna make that one space seven for one foot seven. And you can see my vent piping pops into place. Now it's exactly lined up with this piece of pipe right here. So I can go to my 3D view. I'm gonna just orbit around a little bit. And I'm basically gonna make the connection from this piece down to this one. So I just wanted to show you guys before I do it in a floor plan. So now I can go to a floor plan and I'm just going to drag it until it makes that connection. And now that the connection's made, we're good. Let's go back to the 3D view and we can just start drawing some piping. Now it made it on the sanitary system so I could pull it up real quick and then I can make sure I put this on the vent system. Oop, wrong one. Let's do the vent system. There we go, that looks great. And then I can select this piece in this 3D view. We can go to our floor plan and then I could literally just copy it from maybe this center pipe to this right here. Go back to my 3D view and then I can use my trim extend command and trim these guys together and pull that down just like that. Now I'm probably not using the correct pipe type for this so I can select it, select these pieces right here, change type, I need to make sure I'm using my vent PVC and then it will use the correct connectors. So the vent tees are a little different than the sanitary tees. So, And those are based on my routing preferences that I've set. So let's continue drawing the vent and sanitary over here. Let me click on one of the fixtures and we'll orbit around and I'm going to show you guys kind of my workflow for lavatories. So first we need to get our piping below the ground. So let's go ahead and select our middle fixture. We're gonna hit this vertical pipe right here. We're gonna make it negative two. We're gonna hold shift. And now we have this guy. We need to make sure it's drawing the correct type of pipe. So we're gonna change this type to sanitary PVC. That looks great. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move this down a little bit. 
We're gonna select our fixture. I'm gonna hide these pieces of pipe so you guys can see this a little better. So we'll just go to hide element and we'll click on hide element. So I moved this down a little bit and now I'm gonna use my connect into, use this connector and we're gonna select this piece. We're gonna move this down to one foot six. That looks great. And then we're gonna click this plus right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other fixtures. So we'll just click this sanitary right here. And this time we'll drop it down to one foot and we'll hold shift and we'll go off to this direction. We'll use our trim extend command. We're gonna need to make sure that this piping is being drawn on the correct pipe type. That looks fine. We'll trim extend it just like that. And let's actually move this pipe down to maybe six inches just for now. We'll move this back and then we'll use our connect into command. We'll select the vertical sanitary and we'll drop this down to one foot six and then we'll change this elbow to a T just like that. That one looks great. Let's go ahead and just save some time and we'll, we'll just mirror this over. So we'll go back to our floor plan and I'm going to use the mirror command select and hopefully this is perfectly centered. And now we can go to our 3D view and we can double check that it's centered. So hopefully there's a pipe connector right there. There we go. So that worked. And now we need to make sure we use a double. So we'll click the plus here and then make sure we make this connection just like that. Now let's unhide everything. So we'll reset the temporary hide isolate. Make sure we don't have any interferences right here. So we could maybe move our hot water piping and cold water piping back a little bit. So I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and we'll move it in just like that. Maybe we're gonna tab into all of our cold water piping and I'm just going to deselect this and deselect this. And we're gonna update this to half inch. That looks good. And the last thing we need to do is do the vents for these lavatories. So let's click on our fixture and we can do it a couple different ways. I'm just gonna show you guys this technique. So we're gonna draw it straight up. Make sure we're using the vent PVC. We'll draw it to 10 feet. Let's try that again. Click, I'm gonna bring it up first and then we're gonna hold shift. Make sure we're using the correct pipe type and we have to put it on the correct system. That looks great. And now the rest of the connections we can make from the floor plan. So let's just go here to make it a little easier. We'll drag this vent piping out. We'll right click, create similar and we can go off to this direction. And let's go to a point right here and we're gonna take off over there. Now we can use our connect into so we can select our fixture, connect into, select this vent connector right here and click this piece. And then we can do it again by selecting this, selecting connect into, selecting this vertical connector right here, just like that. That looks great. Go back to our floor plan. And I wanna maybe bring this over to the right. So I'm gonna hit the plus here, right click, draw pipe. And our vents maybe gonna just be shown to go up, we can probably intersect it with our sanitary. So I'm gonna do that. So let's go to a 3D view. We're gonna go to this point right here. We're gonna add, make this a sanitary T right here. And we'll continue drawing our four inch vent pipe up, maybe to 15 feet, hit apply. And then we have to remember, we have to move that off a little bit, make sure it's on the correct system. We'll move this back. And then we're just going to trim this into this. So we have to start drawing piping first. We'll hold shift. We'll use our trim command just like that. And then we'll trim this into this. We have to align it first. So let's use our align command. We'll line it from this point to this. We'll go back to our 3D view and we'll use our trim extend to trim this up. And then the last thing is we just need to make sure this sanitary gets connected. So we'll just bring this off, right click, draw pipe, and we'll draw it right into this. And one last thing before we finish, let's make sure we size this cold water piping correctly. So let's go to the first floor plan. We'll tab into all these pieces right here. We'll deselect all this. And we're gonna size this for a flush valve type system. So we'll go to piping systems, make sure we have flush valves selected. We'll go to our duct pipe sizing tool, click okay. And now we've essentially sized this water piping. So let's go back to the 3D view and really take a look at this thing. So we've essentially modeled this entire plumbing system in a very short amount of time. And what I really wanted to demonstrate is the power of these custom plumbing fixtures that I've created. And you can get these at mepguy.com. They come with my course, Plumbing 101, where I go over 
modeling a complete plumbing system from scratch, and also how to create custom plumbing fixtures and everything you'll need to know for plumbing design inside of Revit. Also, if you wanna check out more insanely fast plumbing videos, make sure to check out the next one. Thanks guys.